the rain's gonna miss us. Don't worry about it. And then it's absolutely boring. Um, but yeah, Josh held his uh, foot in the line and everyone got off cleanly. So yeah, it is what it is. It, it's it's fun, honestly, running in the rain like that. Um, like it was hot yesterday, so I'd actually prefer yeah. this. Um, definitely slippery towards the end, and uh, yeah, a little, little bit scary running behind people and that, but yeah, everyone's still on their feet, so no harm, no Talk about kind of from coming off the test, now here your first race, close to the test, what's the mindset like coming into here, the preparation, coming off, you know, big championships? Yeah, I felt, I felt really good coming coming off Budapest. Um, like the body responded really well somehow to running two steeples, and um, I knew I wanted to, to do a couple more before the end of the year. Um, you know, may as well make, make hay while sunshine. So, um, yeah, just deciding what those couple of things were. I wasn't prepared to go out to China for a steeple chase, so, um, passed on that one and yeah hoping to was just hoping that i'd get into pre without having to go to china and and it looks like i did so um plan was to do pre but but want to do something beforehand and always had a just kind of a uh yeah you just like i want to do uh that, that mile um it always looks like so much fun love coming to race in new york and that's yeah, just a good one good one a week out and um yeah it's a lot of fun I, I, to the race I've always wanted to win and I feel like I, I have the tools to be able to win a race like this. Um, you now it didn't happen today. Jo Josh is obviously um, in class above at the moment, full credit to him. But well, maybe you should have had the uh, Chipotle that he had last night. That's why he said fuel <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah. Well, good on him. Um, what did you have for dinner last night? Then? I went to an Italian restaurant in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's really good. Huh? You learned your lesson right away. I did, yeah. I haven't had a Whole Foods hot bar since the last. I haven't. I don't think I've had a hot bar for two years. I'm done. <laughs> so wait, the only guy in the field doubled back for pre classic Well, that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah. Elon Musk, maybe Hebs? Is he? Maybe. Is it in? Is he in the final? Yeah, it, it's not many. I mean, Josh just telling you run, confirming that he's not running. So yeah, I'm supposed to be doing a workout right now. <laughs> I don't know whether that's gonna happen or not. Red said if for any reason. Um, I couldn't do it, then no problem. So if anyone comes up with an excuse, just let me know. <laughs> a year ago with Jordy Beamish, you know, Myler. Do you consider yourself a steeplechase for now? I mean, you've had great success this year. I think I'm a Myler that does the steeplechase. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it matters. I don't think I don't think I need a need a title. But to be in the mix with um, with George and Josh, who you know they just ran 3:30 in Zurich last week. Um, George has been on an absolute tear the last the last week. Um, to be in the mix with those guys, yeah, they're probably top, top ten, top eight, fifth hundred meter runs in the world, and and to be thrown down with them in the last hundred meters is is pretty fun. Yeah, um, but I mean, with yeah, the, lots to take away from that. With the steeple, you got to feel there's a lot of still upside, right? I mean, it's so new to you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I enjoyed the steeple chase a lot towards the end of the season. Um, yeah, obviously, like struggled with um, like more the enjoyment of it at the very start. Um, like just it was a tough change to make and. Um, I wasn't sure whether or not I was, you know, it was something just that I wanted to do. Like I, I want to have like a passion for something, but but it really grew on me, and and I had a lot of fun running steeple by the time Worlds came around. And I was telling Chris that I think um, you know that that first sound meet where I ran 8:20 in, in my second steeple chase, and I I remember saying that you know I'm doing the steeple, you know I don't want to be average at it. Like I'm I'm in it for I want to win a medal and fast forward a couple of months and then I came pretty close to that so um, yeah definitely definitely proud of that the season I had in, in the steeple and yeah I, I love being able to run these events on the side and uh, I think I'll continue to do so and I still plan on on being a competitive indoor runner when there's no barriers but yeah happy to run the steeple at, at major championships and I think next year like I have the I'm, I'm good to go for Paris already so I don't need to run eight or nine steeplechases like I'm about to this year. When <laughs> so I can that? do a bit more of other stuff. You said there's a little doubt. Is that like after like the third one or the which one? I feel like a little bit of doubt? Yeah. Yeah. Um I probably just felt after that eight twenty that there was an easy ten seconds there. And then I ran eight twenty one again and then a couple of eight seventeens and I just got a bit frustrated. Um and I wasn't feeling super comfortable for some reason over it. Um, but then yeah, I was, I think running those ones, even though, you know, they weren't 
they weren't perfect, got me into a position to get into Stockholm and Monaco. And I think that was kind of the motivation I needed to, to kind of start enjoying it. And then Monaco, I got rolling a bit and um, yeah, just started to feel better over the barriers in practice. And um, by the time I got to Worlds, I yeah, just couldn't believe how good I felt. What was Dejan telling him? Um, he's, no, he's never done the steeple, so. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Um, I think just just telling me to stick with it, and and he's always had like a lot of belief in, in what I can do in the steeple, even from from when I joined the team. And um, I guess he was right. I know yeah. Pascal sort of helped you at times, but like yeah, he did. when he wasn't there, is Dathan trying to figure it out and help you? Like, what's the process there? No, it was a pretty it was a pretty solo mission to be honest. Um, Dathan's right in steeple workouts, but I mean, I do one of them every two or three weeks. Um, just tack on a few 400s at the end of a workout or something. Actually, I think one of the best things I did after I ran, um, maybe after I ran Stockholm, I came back to Boulder in kind of the three weeks a month before I ran Monaco. I, I just went back to running with, with Mario and Yared um, and Ollie and, and the kind of more 1500 workouts. I was doing everything with, with Clicker. Um, and the long distance guys kind of in the spring and I think it was just wearing on me um, like I can work out with Joe mostly um, but just was, maybe just wasn't enjoying as much and di didn't come as naturally and then um, like I don't even know if I ran hurdles between Stockholm and Monaco but kind of got back to Boulder and, and just started jumping into 1500 kind of more workouts like we, I wouldn't say we ever do like Mara and Yara don't do speed workouts necessarily like we don't sprint ever, but just on the shorter side of things, and, and that comes a little more naturally to me. And so, just enjoying running like fast again, and not like I don't have to think about being a steeple chaser every day of the week. Like it's it's a very minimal commitment. It's you know some drills once a week, and and a few hurdles at the end of a workout every two or three weeks. So yeah. great job, Matthew. Cheers, Thank you. appreciate it, man. Perfect timing because you need the award.